The plectrum or the pick is the typical type of exciter we use for a guitar string. And we can influence the quality of the pick with the protrusion, the stiffness, and the velocity of it. And they can all be modulated by key range and incoming velocities. And I'm going to start by playing you a little example here. And you can see the note pitches here. Some are higher and some are lower. And the velocities as well. Some are higher and some are lower. And this will sound relatively even the way it is now. All right, so let's look at the protrusion first. Now, this knob determines how much protrusion the pick has, sort of how much it sticks away from the string. So with this, we can get a variety of effects just by dialing it up and down. And we can modulate it by key tracking. Let me turn the distortion off so we're not too distracted by that. So let me put this up around there. And I'm going to set this fairly high as well. And in this case, what's going to happen though is the higher notes are going to be emphasized. Now, I can also set this lower. Let's say I set it around there. And I'll set the key tracking much lower as well too. And we'll get a different type of effect where the lower notes are emphasized. just set the velocity to neutral so we can really hear that a bit more clearly. Let me set this to neutral now and I'll show you how we can track the velocities and have that affect the protrusion over here. So in this case, I'm going to set this kind of low and I'll put this up fairly high. And in this way, the lower velocities now are going to be kind of de-emphasized and the higher velocities are going to be kind of accented. So a natural kind of accent thing where these notes almost become like ghost notes. And to get the opposite effect, I'm going to set this to about 4 o'clock, nice and high. And I'll set the velocity tracking now nice and low. So now the lower velocities are going to be emphasized. Well, that's nice. And a little too low, and that doesn't really have the effect that I want. So let's put these to neutral and look at the stiffness and the damping now. They kind of work together and they model how hard the pick is held between the fingers of the player and also the pick material. So I'm going to dial this and you'll hear what it does. And again, let me just set these fairly neutral to start with. I'll put this around here. So the stiffness of the pick. And these can be modulated as well. So I'm going to start by putting this around there, fairly neutral type of setting. And I'll put the key range full up. And now the higher range notes are going to be emphasized. So it's a different kind of natural accent than we saw with the protrusion one. This isn't kind of like ghost notes. It's more, we hear them all clearly. They're just more pronounced. And I can set this up now with the velocity full down. Let me just reset this like that. And I'll put this all the way down. And we'll get a different kind of effect where the higher velocities are de-emphasized and the lower velocities are emphasized now based on velocity. And with distortion, it'll be more pronounced. So nice kind of interesting accents that we can get to a performance. Now, we also have velocity here. And the vertical velocity, the pick is adjusted with this knob. So the angle, it's kind of impacting with the string on. Let me set these to neutral here, and I'll demonstrate what it does.
So let's start with this fairly high, and I'll modulate it with the key tracking by putting this all the way down just to demonstrate the effect. And now the higher range notes are going to have a kind of thinner, sharper quality. Almost like you're hitting it with a fingernail. Now, I'm going to adjust some more values, and I just want to show you another workflow thing. Rather than just dialing the knobs, we can double-click and enter a value if we want. So we can enter it that way. So what I'm going to do now is adjust the key tracking higher, put in a value of, let's say, 9 to dial it up nice and strong. And here, the higher range notes are going to be emphasized, but they'll have a fuller kind of sound to it. It won't be that fingernail kind of sound that we just heard. Versus this. So let me set this to approximately neutral, and we'll modulate this now based on the incoming note velocity. So if I set this, I'm going to double click and I'll put, let's say, seven here. So that's nice and high. The high velocities now are going to be thin, while the lower velocity notes are going to be fuller. So a similar effect, but instead of the range of the notes, we're having the velocity effect, the vertical velocity of the pick. 